It's simple time and this is Chef Tatong and today magluluto tayo ng isang very traditional Spanish recipe. Let's start cooking! Simple, simple, luto na ka. This recipe is part of the Simple Cookbook series where we try to make cooking as simple as ABC to simplify yung pagkakaintindi natin paano lutuin yung kalyos. Ang importante nito, before we get anything else done, papalambutin muna natin yung ating tripe which is the kalyos. Ito talaga yung kalyos, yung tuwalya, tinatawag na tuwalya or the beef stomach. So ito siya, ito siya. Yung ginawa ko dito, to speed up the time, gumamit ako ng pressure cooker. So, yung pressure cooker ko, around 1 hour, 1 hour 20 minutes, malambot na siya. Pero, if you do it the traditional way, slow cooking, abutin tayo ng 4 to sometimes 6 hours para lumambot siya. Kaya, sobrang aksaya sa gas. So, pag may kalyos tayo, ang importante talaga sa pagkumakain ka ng kalyos, alam mo yung lagkit, yun ang masarap yung malagkit niya. So, yung gagawin mo, dapat may halo siyang oxtail, yung mascara ng uh, baka. Yan, and ito, isa-slice ko lang siya ng pahaba, no? Let's cut it into strip. Look at it, malambot na siya. Yan, ang ating tripe. Yan. So, ito na siya, yung tripe natin, yung tuwalya. Then, ito yung balat. Look, no? Very gelatinous na siya. So, remember, when you're cooking, nagpapalambot kayo ng beef, nagpapalambot kayo ng pork, or whatever, dapat yung katas niya, yung stock niya, Iniiwan nyo because all the flavor is there. Huwag mo itapon yan. Keep that. So, ngayon magigisa na tayo. So, gagamit ako ng olive oil. Yan. Olive oil and I will saute my garlic first. I want to get that garlic flavor. Yan. Saute my garlic. I add my onions. I add my bell pepper. So, yun ang distinct sa... Uh, Spanish food Kung sa atin tinatawag nating gisa Sa Spanish food Ang tawag naman ay sofrito So parang gisa lang siya Na may halo siyang bell pepper Diba? Yun ang gusto natin Pag mga Spanish food Laging may bell peppers So that's very distinct in Spanish food Yan I will also add my herbs and spices now So meron akong oregano dito You can use thyme You can use rosemary Yan Just a teaspoon of that and I will add Spanish paprika or sweet paprika. Ito siya. Bakit ko ginigisa itong mga spices ko? To be able to bring out the flavor. So, we are blooming the flavors no? to revive the essential oils. I will add my laurel leaves. Yan. And I will add my tomato sauce. So, I'm using UFC Filipino style tomato sauce. Kasi alam mo na, pag Pinoy tayo, we really look for that touch of sweetness in our tomato dishes, no? And, what do I do? I just add my tripe. I add my balat, no? My ox skin. And, of course, I will add my chorizo. Chorizo bilbao. Let's cut it into rounds. Add it into my pot and for flavor. Mix everything together. Di ba kung isipin mo, madali lang pala yung kalyos para nagigisa lang tayo, parang gumagawa lang tayo ng menudo. Yan. Think of it that way. Once that simmers, I will add one cup of white wine. So it's really up to you if you want to use white wine or not. If you don't want to use white wine, it's fine. And of course, I will add my stock Kasi dito yung lagkit, no? Importante, sobrang importante yung lagkit ng ating kalyos. So, I just add the stock. So, this around 4 to 5 cups probably of ating uh, stock. Of course, I will not forget to season my kalyos kasi it's very important to season your food. So, salt and pepper. So, ang secret ko dyan, huwag nyo i-share sa iba, ha? Lalagyan ko siya ng 1 to 2 tablespoons of Gelatin powder Kasi yung gelatin naman Galing naman yan sa baka Galing sa cartilage Galing sa collagen ng beef So if you add it here Ma-achieve mo yung lagkit niya Without having to add the ox skin Yan, so I will just let this simmer So let's check on our kalyos Look at that Medyo nag-thicken na yung ating sauce Everything is coming together beautifully 
yung gagawin ko ngayon ay I'm going to, you know, refine the flavors more. So, ito yung usual na ginagawa ko. To let the flavors come out, I will add 4 tablespoons of vinegar and sugar. Yeah, that's going to brighten up the flavor. And I season with patis. So, I'm using 2 tablespoons to 3 tablespoons of dato puti patis. And of course, I will add garbanzos, one cup of garbanzos, and green olives. Slice green olives, look at that. And I will just let that simmer until I achieve the thickness that I want. So, a little bit more cooking, let the flavors melt. Last natin nilalagay yung ating garbanzos para hindi siya maging mushy towards the end. And let's cook it for a few more minutes. So let's check on our callus and check if it has uh, gotten together. Yan. Ang ganda ng ating callus. Look, ready to serve. I like this with rice, garlic rice, or crusty bread. Sardo. Oh my God, ang sarap nito. Yan. And of course, my crusty bread. Hindi pwedeng wala yan. And sobra ko ng happy dito. Here it is, our version of Kalyos. Made simpler for you para magawa nyo during the holidays. Kaya, tandaan nyo, kahit sino kaya magluto, basta simple! Mga simple remember, loving is sharing. Kaya, share this video and like nyo na rin. Kain muna ako. Bye!